Is there audio with that? Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, we're having so many technical difficulties trying to just do a video of me making food. <laughs> so if there's any issues that you're seeing, please let us know because this is, if this one doesn't work, we're going to stop not sending notifications to your phone that we're trying to go live. Oh, but it's a stormy day out there anyway, so it's somewhat entertainment, I guess. <laughs> so if you weren't watching before on our other failed attempts to do this video, what I'm doing is meal prep for the week. And I usually do this on Sundays because usually Sundays are kind of free um, from work. So and I got this down to such a science that I can knock this out in usually about an hour or so. Um, so I'm making just lunches and dinners. So run through what I do for the day, which I can show all this stuff a little bit later. For breakfast, I have a protein shake that I grind spinach and PB2 in. So I have that before I go to the gym. I go to the gym. After the gym, I usually um, do hard-boiled eggs, and I have egg whites and avocados. And then for lunch is what I'm making here. And then for a snack, which I usually eat around beat the bear time, is a cup of cottage cheese and uh, some veggies, which I know. Super exciting, right? And then I have dinner when I get home, which I'm also going to make here. And then sometimes a snack, which tends to be this Halo Top S'mores because it's my jam. So what I'm making for lunch is this week is either turkey or chicken and a vegetable and quinoa for lunch and cod and a vegetable for dinner. So it's easy just to knock it all out right now in an hour, and that way I don't have to worry about cooking anything. I don't have to worry about turning my dang oven on because guess what? I don't have central air. And you know what it's been feeling like in Cincinnati. It's been hot and sticky and gross. So having my oven on, especially since we've been trying to shoot this video for like an hour and a half, <laughs> it's very hot in my kitchen right now. It's got a nice little glisten going on. So I like to get that done once a week and then never turn the oven on again. So... Are we cool? Did, can I start making food? Yes. <laughs> Jesse's you're being a, a helper bee. So I have, I usually get cod because um, salmon's really expensive and salmon is a ton of calories and I do bank my calories every day. I use my fitness pal and kind of just add everything up every day. And um, I do 1800 calories a day and it's different for everyone. And I know for me, I'm also very, my body's very sensitive to carbs. So I do eat carbs and healthy carbs, but if I eat too much, my like that scale will go, whoop, go right back up and then I cry and it's bad. So um, cod is cheaper and it's easy for me to make and it's high in protein and it um, isn't as many calories. So cod's, cod's my jam. So for me, and you, by the way, I was told by a nutritionist and a chef that cod, or not cod, but cooked fish can last, pushing it like five days in the fridge after you cook it. So I kind of touch that limit. Sometimes on that fifth day, it's got to go, which is fine. Again, I didn't pay as much money for it like I would have like with salmon or a halibut or something like that. But um, so just, you know, that might skeeve you out to like keep, fish in the fridge longer, but I do it because I put a lot of um, weird foods in my body and I'm totally cool with it. So what I do is I buy, I get two and a half pounds of cod and then again, you don't have to do fish either. I just like fish. So this is just what I do personally, but sometimes I just do like a turkey again at night or I do chicken. Again, I keep it pretty simple. I do shrimp a lot, too. I like to cook shrimp um, with, like, um, lemon and these seasonings I have here, which I'll show you in a second, which I'm going to have to wash my hands. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be moving around here, Jesse. Heads up. So hold on while I wash my hands. I don't know if you're following me to wash my hands or not. Um, so what I do is I use pink Himalayan sea salt because I read that it's better and whatever. It's a little bit more expensive, but it makes me feel better about eating salt because I love salt and I'll put tons of salt on everything, which I really try to gate down on that because I know it's a problem for me. Butter and salt are our weaknesses. So I put a little pepper on there 
And then, um, oh, dang it, I'm doing it out of order because I'm not used to being on camera. So I squeeze a lemon on. And I got this, like, doodad at the dollar store. And then, so I just put fresh lemon juice on. Just, I mean, do whatever the, whatever the heck you want. This is just what I do. And, um... It's so weird because I've like, it's, you know how like sometimes like if you're in the kitchen, maybe it's just me because I'm strange. You like pretend to be on a cooking show to like make cooking more interesting. But then like when I'm actually doing it right now, it feels so weird. <laughs> um, so I use, I, and this stuff's not the cheapest, but I get flavor God seasonings. I don't know where you want me to put that at, Jesse, but I order it online because it's like hand ground and I don't really like person. Oh, I'm screwing that up, Jesse. Um, I, uh, personally don't like, like, Mrs. Dash. Like, I just don't like it. I don't think it tastes that good, but this stuff tastes good to me, and it's low salt. So, that's what I personally use. So, I'm using the lemon and garlic flavor on here, and I just got a new order of this stuff because they were having a sale. Because, again, it's not the cheapest stuff in the world, but, I mean, it's all I eat. So, I know I'm going to eat it all, so I don't try not to beat myself up about it because I do weird stuff like that. I also use a lot of garlic, obviously. Like, I have, like, motored through this giant thing of garlic. Um, and I put this on here. And then, you know, real precise and fancy-like, as you can see. Just, just a classy splat. <laughs> <laughs> and then I put dill on there. Because it makes it look pretty, and I like it doesn't like can't say that it gives it like the most interesting flavor ever, and it's like totally worth it. But it like I don't know, I think it looks cool, so that helps me. I think that's also too finding tricks that make you like enjoy food more of like where you're just eating. I mean, health foods don't have to suck. I mean, a lot of them do. I mean, I'm not just going to eat, like, a big giant piece of kale. That's pretty nasty. But, like, you can doctor it up and make it taste better. See, look at that. Just, just a sprinkle. Just a sprinkle. <laughs> I just like putting weeds on my food. <laughs> I like it to look like I just mowed the lawn and then threw it on a fish. So it looks like a barbershop floor. <laughs> So that's what I do with that. And then, think I'm done with this? Yes, because I'm so thrown off from talking it through it. So then I put this in the oven. What I do, I don't know if this is correct, but I'm eating it myself. So I don't have to worry about feeding other people and them getting food poisoning. If I do it, I do it to myself. But I put it on 450, and I put it in there for 20 minutes, and then eyeball it and see if it looks kind of crunchy or not. <laughs> so not very precise. Again, I am not Rachel Ray. So, so there's that. So then I get veggies and I put them in the steamer. Let me hose this thing down real quick. Um, which these things, these like little cutting pads are like super cheap. And I think they're awesome. Like, and for me too, not only do I not have central air, I also don't have a dishwasher or a garbage disposal. So... Um, stuff that, like, that cuts down on, um, on dishes, also super helpful for me personally. So the veggies of my choice I like to do is I like to do broccoli and asparagus. I also like to do Brussels sprouts, but I like to bake them, and again, I have no central air. So spending 40 minutes with the oven on cooking Brussels sprouts is no bueno because it's hot in here and I don't feel like dealing with it. Plus, I, have, I cut them all in half and it just takes forever. So that's my first world problem. But I like to buy the broccoli fresh. I don't really like the personal choice, the frozen broccoli. I just think it's kind of mushy and it just doesn't taste the same. So I have two steamers and every time I do meal prep, as I wave this knife, is to try to fit it all in one steamer because I don't want to have to bust them both out because, again, it's more dishes. So the, my whole life revolves around how much can I get out of doing dishes because I feel like most of my life is doing dishes. Dishes and laundry is how I spend my free time, and it sucks. So I don't know if you're getting this shot in here or not, Jesse, but I have to go put this stuff in the steamer. Um, 
The steamer weirdly takes the longest thing out of everything since I cram it so full because I hate dishes. I usually got to set this for like 40 minutes. Um, so, but again, I have it down to such a science and me personally, I don't mind eating the same things over and over and over again, um, which is helpful. <laughs> so I, like, I know exactly what to buy. I know exactly pretty much how much I need. I just kind of eyeball it and then I can motor through it. So like if I run out of food by Wednesday, I'll come home, like we get off the air at seven and I'll have to come home and just start cooking again. Um, but again, once or twice a week for an hour is so much better than trying to figure it out. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to fit it all in there. It's my, it's my game of the week. Can I fit all the broccoli in there so I can fit the asparagus on top of it? Do I have any questions I need to answer, Jesse? No? <laughs> if you guys have any questions, I will answer them. Um, so, again, today's like a, an awesome day to do kind of meal prep because it's been rainy and thunderstormy and it's going to be that way all afternoon, at least so says the weather. So I don't feel ants in my pants about not being able to do other stuff. I'm going to try to read comments. Um, but, so, all right, there's that part of the veggies. Asparagus is easier than cutting all that stuff up. Again, you can use, there's no problem with using frozen vegetables. This is just my personal preference. And again, planning it all ahead, ahead of time and kind of um, getting it all together. Like, so many people complain that eating healthy is more expensive. And I mean, I will admit it's not the cheapest thing in the world. But whenever you get it all knocked out at once and you get it all, like, it's so much, it ends up being cheaper than being like, oh, well, let's go out to lunch here, go out to dinner here, and then you really kind of rack up the money doing that. And I know, because I've done that a lot. Um, see, like, just, just cram that in there. I think we're going to make it. I think it's going to happen. Dreams come true. Um, and here's where I'm also super boring. I also don't season these vegetables after I steam. Well, I put salt on them, because I have a salt problem. But... Uh, that's a good thing, too, about having this. I mean, you can do stuff in a can, too, if you want. But I would rinse it off as they just pack it with salt and stuff. So, oh. Oh, come on now. Come on. Sometimes I rubber band the lid on here because, again, I don't want to pull out another steamer because I'm lazy. Get in there. This is exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Let's watch Amanda cram asparagus into a steamer. I think it's going to be okay. Again, I got two of these puppies, um, and I try not to use the second one. But you can get a steamer on Amazon for like, like, what are they, like 30, 40 bucks. And the last steamer I had, I legit had since fifth grade, which is weird that I remember that because I used to, what I would do then is I would make a ton of white rice and then take just like the tub of country crack and just, just blather with butter and salt, and that's what I would eat. So... This is a little bit different use of the steamer. Um, it's grown-up use of the steamer, I guess. Um, so now that's in there. You're going to have to follow me, Jesse. I'm going to rinse off my thing. Again, you're going to see shots of my kitchen as is. Where there's just dishes piled everywhere all the time because I don't have a dishwasher to hide that stuff, so it just sits everywhere. And um, so now I'm going to make turkey breast. Again, I have no science to anything. I make it all up. Um, so I just got the 99% fat free. And I just like chomp it all. I just stick it in a pan and cook it. That's like pretty much what I do. I like it ground up. And then I put a bunch of mustard on it when I eat it. Because I'm the life of the party. <laughs> but I like just like the yellow mustard or the spicy um, horseradish mustard. And I like putting on there because there's low calories in it, and I, I like it. So the trick to everything is finding something that you like. Because if you find that, like, you need to put a little bit of barbecue sauce on something to make it edible or you want to eat it, that's better than eating something deep fried, I think. It's just, you got to, you know, there's trade-offs for stuff. So 
I'll wash my hands again, also very exciting. Um, I'm sorry I'm doing a really bad job at looking at comments. Um, I'll be able to look here in a sec because I'm kind of roaming all around and I know our comments are on a delay as well. So I'm also going to make quinoa. Again, you don't have to do quinoa. You don't have to be super crunchy granola. Again, I have gone from, I'm at a higher level of choice of stuff that I do now. Like where I, what I mean, if you, when I started losing weight and stuff, or at least the amount that I've lost now, I wasn't eating quinoa every day, but now I do. But like brown rice or any good carb, like a complex carb. So I just, like this stuff puffs up. You're supposed to rinse it off and stuff. I don't do that because I'm lazy. Um, and just, I just one cup of it and then you do two cups of water. Again, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. But that's how I do it. And then I like get that to a super boil and then I put the lid on and um, uh, let, it, let it simmer. It's simmer down now. So, yeah, real, real exciting. And then now I have chicken that I cook on the grill outside because there's a lot going on here and I'll do that out there. So I'll make it easy for you, Jesse. I'll come back over here. Um, again, I use the Flavor God seasoning and I, they usually use this everything seasoning and it's low salt and I like it. But they had a new kind that I ordered that's garlic and herb salt and that sounds like my jam. So I haven't even tried it, but I'm gonna dump some of it on there. And so, you know, just mixing it up, living, living life in a crazy way. Um, so I get a lot of chicken because I do, personally, I do seven ounces of meat at a time, which is a lot more than you think. I know, like, you think, like, measuring stuff out and weighing stuff out, you're like, that doesn't, like, especially me, I'm a volume eater. I like a lot, of, I want a big pile of food. I want it to feel like I'm getting like my money's worth. I, I can put away food like no problem. Um, again, which is why I've had a weight issue my whole life. So, um, but a seven ounces for me feels like a lot, which is why I do it. Is it just, it feels like a lot of food. It feels like I'm not going to be hungry the rest of the day and that stuff's important to me because if I feel like I'm just like pecking at food and it's like it's nothing to eat and I'm not getting enough then I will binge then I will make bad choices just that's just that's just how I personally roll so it's it's everything I think is really important about losing weight and healthy lifestyle is knowing your body and knowing yourself which I feel is why I yo-yoed so long as I just followed like I did South Beach and I tried Atkins and I did Weight Watchers twice both times I gained weight on that. No, but I know people that have done amazingly well on Weight Watchers just because everybody's different and your styles work for you. So this is what works for me. So just because I'm doing seven ounces of chicken and the stuff that I'm doing doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to work for everybody. And it's just finding about um, what you like to eat, what, you're not, what you don't get sick of, what you don't think is gross, you don't feel like you're, so, like you're forced of like, oh God, I can't believe I have to eat celery sticks and you know hummus, I don't wanna eat that barf, then don't eat it. Like if you're not gonna eat it, you shouldn't do it. Um, because I've learned that too of just trying to like eat quote unquote health food, which a lot of it really isn't that healthy for you. Like if it says light or whatever, you I mean you really have to read what's in it because that's scary, especially for me personally, I'm allergic to uh, like artificial sweeteners like aspartame and stuff like that and Splenda. So that stuff makes me sick and that's in a lot of like the diet food. So um, I really have to look at menus. And hold on one sec, I gotta stir my turkey and then we're gonna go out to the grill and put my, put my chicken titty out there. Um, I have these sweet of gloves that I got in a, like a white elephant Christmas gift thing. And everybody's like, oh, so dumb. You got the of gloves. Dude, they rock. They're awesome. <laughs> I don't always put them on, but I still use them all the time. So, again, don't let people hate on your dreams. If you want an of glove, you get an of glove. <laughs> all right, I'm going to need... 
Oh, I also have all these like kitchen utensils that people have given me. But, like, I don't know why. But like from the dollar store and I won't get rid of them. All right, I'm going outside, Jesse. We're moving. So I got this house, which I've been in my house for a year now. And so it turns out to be the jam because it makes like cooking so much easier because, and I did have this preheated, then it was on forever. And then these videos kept screwing up. So I was more prepared, but just not right now. Um, I'm going to use, so this is what I, again, it's not the prettiest thing ever because I don't know how old it is. It's been with this house. This house is 102 years old. I don't think it's that old, obviously, but it could have been here for a solid 15 years. I don't know. So I do that and cook that here. I'll come in and wash this because I'm always doing dishes. There's my one-eyed cat, Grizzy. <laughs> All right, so now that that's all cooking for a second, let me, let me do dishes for a second because I need to reuse this plate because I don't want to do even more dishes because I'm always doing dishes. Um, and I'll be able to actually like look at comments and answer questions here in a sec. Let me rinse this off. Okay, let me look. Do you eat dinner meals with your husband? What does he do? No, he eats. Let me show you what my husband eats. He eats party pizzas and Ben and Jerry's. Like this is, this is always around it is junk food. There's Pringles over there. There's also, uh, he's got pasta and all this stuff that looks freaking delicious is what is what he eats, is he eats just pure junk. <laughs> so sometimes, like if I'm like, hey, I'm gonna actually cook us something really healthy for both of us, like he'll eat it, but that doesn't really happen too often. So it's also for me, learning to get past those triggers of like this junk food's always in my house and how to say no to it. So um, I kind of do my own thing. He does his own thing. I've kind of learned of like, I know what ruffles and French onion dip tastes like. I don't really need to eat that right now. I have something else to eat. So um, yeah, he's been, he's been on kicks where he's like, I'm going to eat healthy and I'm going to start working out and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what you do. And it'll last for maybe 24 hours and he'll bounce on it. But he's also one of those people that's like this big and like doesn't ever gain weight. So yeah. I've never been that person. <laughs> um, so that's how that works. Um, have you used a steamer for Brussels sprouts? I have not. I'm not a huge fan of the steamed Brussels sprouts personally because it feel, like they're just kind of slimier to me. I like them baked. What I do is I toss them in balsamic vinegar and then just bake them, and I really like them that way. I also like tossed in olive oil, and I like using the Montreal steak seasoning. It's a lot of salt in it, but it tastes really good. Um, so that's what I do that. Uh, oh, hi there. <laughs> My realtor says the kitchen looks great. Hey, actually, we're planning on doing like a kitchen remodel because um, I've been wanting to do the kitchen, redo the kitchen for a while. So uh, get ready for that. There may be a Facebook Live video of that in the future. Um, uh, I'm trying to read comments here. What do you do for breakfast and for snacks? Um, so for breakfast, I do actually, let me stir this turkey here real quick. Oh, and my quinoa I need to knock down. So, uh, for breakfast, let me pull out, I'll show you my protein shakes. So I do protein shake for breakfast because I work out in the morning. So it, it's, I don't need like a huge breakfast because it, it just makes me feel like too full before I go to the gym, but I have to have something in me, otherwise I'll feel sick. So um, let me find the best one here. I'll grab, I'm just coming over here real quick. So I use, this is what I get and I buy it on Amazon because I like it because again, like I'm allergic to artificial sweeteners, but I can have stevia. So this has stevia and I like the taste of it. So that's what I use personally and I buy on Amazon. The only other place I've seen is Walgreens and it's really expensive at Walgreens. So in the morning I do a double dose of this. I do two scoops, 16 ounces of water, 
put it in my blender, and then I use a cup of spinach, and then I put in two tablespoons of PB2, so it kind of tastes like a Reese's cup. So that's what I do, and I like the taste of it, but sometimes if I'm mixing it up like on a weekend, I'll just have eggs for breakfast, I'll just do like a hard boiled egg or just sunny side up egg, and like a half a cup of oatmeal, or I'll do a banana. Um, and then after the gym, I do, um, actually we can stay on this camera, Jesse, I gotta go flip my chicken. So after the gym, I come home and I have hard boiled eggs and uh, an avocado, so I do that, um, or sometimes I have a banana, like again, it doesn't really sound like much, it doesn't sound like I'm eating like a ton of food, but like, it, it is for me now. Like again, baby steps, I've been doing this for a while, so it's, you, I, it's like I feel like when I, whenever I started losing weight, I just, I, I wasn't this strict. I feel like this is, it's pretty strict. <laughs> um, so, um, I forgot what the question was. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Um, so that I do that after the gym, and then after that, I have lunch. Is what I'm making is either turkey and veggies and quinoa, and I also have a fruit with um, every major meal, not with breakfast though. I'll have like a I'll have an apple or I'll have a cup of raspberries because I do measure them out because again I'm a, I'm a quantity eater, so if it's in front of me I'll eat it all. If you put a bag of chips in front of me, the whole bag is gone. So I for me I need stuff measured out. Which those Ziploc bags that have the little measurements on them those rule because it it gives you a stopping point. So like if I'm going to eat nuts or something like that I could. I can motor through nuts like no problem. And though the nuts are good for you, but not whenever you're eating like three cups of them. So I, I need those measurements and I can't just do it by itself because I feel like I'm not eating enough. So I'll have nuts with like cottage cheese or I'll have nuts with um, like yogurt or something like that. Um, I know for me like what my trigger foods are. So trigger foods are, are like chips and stuff I can't stop. Pizza, like I'll still eat pizza, but I don't eat it as often because I know I can't stop. Like a large pizza, I can put down by myself easy. <laughs> like I will just not stop. If it's in front of me, I won't stop. So like measuring and stuff makes, gives me a stopping point. Um, trying to answer more questions. Uh, do I mix homemade healthy foods for my cat? No, I'm not that crazy of a cat lady. <laughs> Um, I, they just got a bowl of dry food that sits out and they live. So that's how they roll. <laughs> um, I don't fix healthy foods for them. Um, I do go to, um, why am I blanking on the name? It's, um, what you, where do I get my cat food at, Jesse? Pet wants, yes. So let's, like, I'm going to see if the cod and put on my of glove and see uh, if it looks done-ish enough. Um, I'm gonna do two more minutes. So I got this super sweet badass um, oven. I got a great deal on it and it's a convection oven and it's like double oven so you can cook two different things at once. And I was like, oh, this rules, I'm gonna use it so much. I've used it like never. <laughs> so, I'm sure it'll be helpful if, I, you know, Thanksgiving dinner and stuff like that. But, like, I keep stuff, there's a cat, I keep stuff super, super simple just because I don't want to spend a thousand hours in the kitchen. And I have done, like, more creative recipes, and it just, like, it just takes a, a lot more time. But if you're a person that, like, I know most everyone else needs to have a little bit more variety and spice things up. Pinterest is the place to go. Pinterest has so many good meal prep ideas. Also, there's a lot of Instagram pages. If you just like use the hashtag meal prep Sunday or hashtag meal prep and just follow, like just look at some of the hashtags and find some accounts. A lot of those have really good um, suggestions of foods to make. Or even me, like even if, like I don't ever use recipes hardly for anything because I just make stuff up, which is why it's dangerous to eat my foods. 
um, that I'll just kind of look at what they made and be like, oh, that's what they did there. Well, I'll see if I can figure it out. Um, so that's how I kind of roll with that. Yeah, Rebecca, it's fish in the stove. Um, what's my favorite fruit and vegetable? Uh, my favorite fruit, I like Honeycrisp apples. I eat those a lot because I like them by themselves, and I also like them with almond butter. Um, which I do two avenues of almond butter is either you can just buy the nuts yourself because I like to get the raw ones and then put them in a food processor. And that's pretty cheap because you can get a whole bag for $7 because if you buy a jar of that almond butter, it is freaking expensive and it doesn't taste as good. Also, get out of here. Cat in the trash can. Um, I know, like, because I go to Fresh Time and you can grind your own and put it in there too. And they use the roasted almonds, which I like too. But I like the raw ones a lot. I think the fish is probably good. What do you think, Jesse? Yeah? So, which is good when the fish is done, because that means the oven gets to go off. It's so hot. So, I'll let, like, then the trick is, too, I try to do every week. Sometimes it works and it rules when it does, just like when I get everything to fit in the steamer is a win. But like whenever um, everything is all done at the same time, I'm like, yes, I could just get it all done and I don't have to quit thinking about it. <laughs> because some days, like today, it's fun because it's Sunday and it's kind of rainy outside to do meal prep. But there's other times because life, I mean, life is life and you got other stuff to do and you're like, oh, I've spent an hour in the kitchen right now. So some days it's really fun, some days it's a chore. So um, this is pretty much done. I'll let go for a couple more minutes. Let's go check on my chicken. So that I got 22 minutes left on the, st on the steamer, and that's going to probably be the last to go. I should have started that first instead of the fish, but... <sighs> At least it's not painfully hot out here anymore. I don't know if any of you guys were Jason Aldean last night. It was hot. It was really hot. And even then, like stuff for that, because, you know, we get at Riverbend when we do shows. We get there super early when we do our show there. And I know I'm going to be hungry and I need to eat. So I pack ahead and I pack snacks. So yesterday I brought grapes and some chopped up cheese. Um, these I eat a lot. Like whenever, um, like, you know, on, like our road trips and stuff like that is just the little Justin singing almond butter because I can just like squeeze it into my mouth like a classy lady. So I like doing that. Um, and yeah, sliced apples because I have my weird thing where I don't like not loud eating. So I have to slice the apples because I can't bite into an apple because I make myself nuts because I'm a crazy person. Um, it's just, again, planning ahead is like the most important thing is like if you plan ahead then you're not going to go sway somewhere else because like last yesterday at Riverbend we we're at Jason Aldean it's hot and I'm hungry and I'm like I could totally go rock a coney right now I'm like but I already planned I brought a banana I brought an apple I brought almond butter I brought you know and you could bring things that are more hearty now you can bring a sandwich whatever of like okay I don't need to go spend money and I don't need to make a bad choice because I, I play in the head, which is what we did on our road trip to Denver is just, I've always just planning because I've learned that's where, that's where I'll mess up is if I'm not planned ahead. Um, so that's done. So turkey cool off because again, I'm making this food for me and no one else. So I'll use my bare hands. I'm not working at Subway. I don't have to put gloves on. <laughs> And I say that because I worked at Subway for five years and I had to wear those gloves. So um, what kind of steamer am I using? Uh, are you guys seeing the cats? Uh, what kind of fish is it? It's cod. Um, um, the steamer, I don't know. It's Hamilton Beach. I just got it on Amazon. I have another one too and the handle broke off so I have scotch tape on the lid. I mean, it's, it's pretty janky but it still works. The other one I've had longer than that one, um, but I just go on like Amazon and read, like just look up a steamer and read the reviews. I like the ones that are like split steamers, so I can do the two different veggies at once since I'm lazy. Um, so those are my steamer recommendations. Just go to Amazon and read reviews or Target or whatever and just see what people like hate on. 
Um, that's usually my general suggestion. I do that on Yelp and stuff for restaurants. Um, what's my favorite yogurt? Do you eat Greek and lots of protein field yogurt? I eat, and I know the name is Goofy, so I'm probably going to say it was a Faye or whatever. And I just do the 2%. Yeah, I could do the 0%, but I try to get, like, healthy fats in every day because, I don't know, that's what someone told me. And so um, I, like, put my own fruit in it because the ones with the fruit in the bottom are, have, like, a ton of sugar. And these are already have sugar in them, just even being plain. So um, I just have a magic bullet, and I put in, like, blueberries and blackberries and then this and just grind it up and eat it because just plain yogurt, I mean, I can do it. I don't like it, though. So, again, the trick is finding stuff that you like where you're not like, eh, why? I don't want, this is health food. Blech. So I just kind of make my own fruit yogurt. Um, but, yeah, I've read that, like, the, the um, what am I th the Greek yogurt's supposed to be better. And I read that there's knockoff Greek yogurts. They say they're Greek yogurts, but they're not officially Greek yogurts, and I, I can't decide if I care. But... I know this one, because it's got the goofy name, is supposed to be good. And when it's on sale, I totally rock that. I've also gotten, um, how was it? It's like some Icelandic, I can't even remember the name of it. Some other, like, funky version of yogurt, and I've tried that, and that's okay. That's really not useful information to you, since I don't really know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> I'm trying. Um, uh, trying to see what other, the seasonings I'm using is Flavor God seasonings, and I order them online, and I really like them a lot because they last forever, and I like the taste of them. They have so many different ones. Actually, let me show you something real quick. Um, how long do my meals keep good in the fridge? I Usually about five days is probably about max. Like, we get into a sixth day, you're like, eh. No matter, even if it's chicken or whatever it is, it's not, it's not so good. Um, but I, I got a, my Flavor God order and they were like you get a secret seasoning and my secret seasoning is bacon lover seasoning which i haven't tried yet but that sounds totally good so they have a lot of stuff i really like um i have to check and see if this quinoa is done so this is just whenever the water is all gone again very precise that's me very precise Actually, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to keep the lid off because I try to get everything, like, as cool as possible so I can stick my hands in it. <laughs> uh, so a few minutes left on the steamer. Fish is done. Let's check the fish or the chicken again. Again, this is, like, this is my routine every week, uh, twice a week. So, but, like, once it's done... I'm so happy it's over, especially like we're going to cut everything up here in a second Oop. and then portion it all out. See, that'll be good in a couple minutes. I don't use a meat thermometer or anything because, again, if I get food poisoning, it's my own fault. So <laughs> I, get, I don't follow my directions on that stuff. I'm just saying what I do. I am not a chef. I am not a nutritionist. This is what I do. Um, and everybody's different, so if you feel like, if you have any sort of medical restrictions, like if you have diabetes or high cholesterol or anything like that, like talking to a nutritionist is a really, really good idea um, because they'll point you in what foods that you can and can't have. And I have talked to a nutritionist before, just um, basically describing, going through my fitness pal because that's the app I use on my phone. And I put all my food in to see what my macros are, to see what my fats are as opposed to my protein. And um, I was told I eat too much protein every day, but I feel like that works best for me because I feel full, which is important. And I feel like that's also kind of where it keeps the scale where I want it. Um, I do weigh myself every morning just to keep myself in check. Like sometimes it really depresses me because especially being a woman, you're up three pounds for no dang reason. It's like, why? I didn't do anything. I ate perfectly. Why am I up three pounds? And then you're just angry all day and upset, like, Ugh. but <laughs> that aside, I do it because it keeps me in check. Because if I'm about ready to make some really bad decisions of like, yeah, all the fried chicken's going right here. And I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. I got to weigh myself in the morning. Maybe I should, I should, have one piece instead of four. <laughs> so like it keeps, 
again, it's learning yourself and knowing like what keeps you in check. And that's something that helps keep me in check. Um, do I, uh, freeze any of my meals? I don't freeze any of my meals. I have seen all that stuff on Pinterest though, where you can do it, especially the crock pot meals. Um, and I make a lot of chicken and crock pots too. Cause you could just take the chicken breast, throw it in the crock pot, cook it all day. And then it just shreds. So you can either put some seasoning in there and I use the flavor God stuff or just get the packets of like fajita seasoning or something and just put that in the crock pot and shredded chicken. And you can put it on salads. You can make tacos with it. You can just eat it plain. You could put it on rice. You can, I mean, there's like a million options. Uh, again, Pinterest will give you a thousand ideas for that. Uh, <laughs> Uh, my, uh, my husband wants me to ask you what you think about people driving in the rain with no headlights on. I think, um, I think you should turn on your dang headlights because we can't see you in the rear view mirror when you're driving around with no headlights on. What the heck are you doing? Pay attention. If you're driving around and seeing everyone else has their headlights on, perhaps you should check and see if your headlights are on. It's a good idea, especially on a day like today where it's going to rain all day. Check them headlights. <laughs> um, trying to keep up with all the questions uh so uh oh, it's hot in here um it's everything's almost done so i'm just waiting on the chicken now and the vegetables and then actually i got my little scale it's really dirty that's all right. And I just got this at Target. Target or Amazon, I can't remember which one. So I'll use this to weigh everything. And then I should have got my measuring cups out in advance, but I didn't. Um, I have many measuring cups from multiple different dollar stores. So everything's kind of a hodgepodge for that. So um, actually, I don't need these. I'll keep that there anyway. So I'm going to measure everything out, going to weigh everything, and then I'm going to put them in my little containers here. I got them on Amazon, but they have the ones too that are also sectioned off if you're like freaky about your foods touching each other. Um, but I, I don't care. So I use those and they've, I've bought two sets of them and they're like, they're not expensive at all. And they've lasted a long time. I have a couple of them that are kind of like chipped and broken on the side, but I still use them anyway. They're still good. Uh, my chicken is probably done, so let's go. <laughs> oh, I forgot to bring my plate. I'll get that in a sec. All right. So that, I'm just eyeballing it because I'm not taking any internal temps or any stuff like that because I just don't. Uh, let me grab my plate real quick. Hey, Noah. Um, and this like grill is super, super handy. I'm glad it came with the house. I also have a charcoal grill too, but like, I, I like charcoal, but it takes so much more time and this is just easy. And then, especially since again, no central air in my house that Nilla get back in there. Um, I'll come clean this off later too. So I'm not being completely lazy. I'll come back and clean that. And then I will lay this out so it can cool off so I can use my hands to cut it up. You're getting there. Everything's almost cooked. Um, and I don't have any exact science about, uh, you know, how much this is actually going to make. Obviously, all different sizes and stuff of or packets of chicken are, are a lot. But, and sometimes I do other things too. Let me get over here. Um, where I'll do bison sometimes, especially if it's on sale, just to like completely mix it up. Other than that, I don't do a ton of red meat because I really love like ribeye steak and stuff like that. So I kind of keep that as like a treat of kind of like that's, I'm not going to make that a normal thing, but it's just kind of like, you know, if I want to go out and have a good dinner or make a good dinner at home of like, yeah, I'm going to get a steak and of like, heck yeah, of like, I've worked hard getting a steak. But with that being said, I'm also, um, 
very much of the idea that you don't reward yourself with food because I've done that a lot previously when I've yo-yo dieted is, oh, you've done really good, so now have some cake. Or you can go out for a huge dinner. And like that's, I feel like, reward, like oh, I rewarded my hard work of losing weight and eating healthy with crappy food. And I, like, I, don't, I don't feel like that's a, a good reward system for me personally. So I will do like, okay, I've really hit this hard and I've hit some milestones and I've hit a weight that I went hit or I've gone down a pant size or I'm just feeling really good of like, I'm going to go out and buy some new clothes or I'm going to go out and buy a new pair of tennis shoes because those things are really super expensive. So it's like, instead of like, oh, we're going to go out and have this crazy indulgent meal and we're going to spend 70 bucks on it of like, I'll do that of like, I'm going to go out and get a new pair of shoes or I'm going to go out and I'm going to get my hair done or I'm going to get my nails done or I'm going to get a massage or I feel like having those rewards are good because you should. You should be excited for yourself because this stuff isn't easy. Like losing weight, if you've ever tried to lose weight, it is not easy and it's constantly being strict. It's being very regimented. It's keeping on course even though so much of life gets in the way of trips or you're stressed at work and I'm an emotional eater too. So having a bad day and you know, not going to just eating a huge tub of mac and cheese to make yourself feel better. Like, you should be proud of getting past those moments of that you don't do that anymore, which is what I do of, like, I would use, I used to do that all the time. So getting out of the habit of going to food for comfort or going, of, going to food for rewards has helped me a lot um, to kind of stick with it. Um, and just still indulging when I want. If I want to get a piece of that awesome looking cheesecake, I'm going to get it because if I don't, I'm just going to sit there and think about it all day. I'm like, I wish I had that cheesecake. I can't wait to have cheesecake. Oh, why am I so strict? This really sucks. And then when you have the moment to have it, then you just go crazy. So I am, if you want to get that coney and get that coney, I just wouldn't do it every day of, you know, get a taste of what you need what you need to get done so you don't go nuts because you know grilled chicken is good and I like it but is it you know the best thing on earth no <laughs> you know what I'm saying um what do I drink besides water um I I drink a lot of black coffee which I used to drink a lot of Red Bull um and I haven't had soda in over five and a half years. That was one of my things of like, no more soda, no more fast food. And that's for me, and I like streaks. So that's good for me. But um, Red Bull, I'll have maybe like once a year still if I'm like on a road trip and I'm really tired. But And so I never drank coffee because I thought black coffee was disgusting. So I kind of stair-stepped to get to a point where I didn't need to put a bunch of sugar and stuff in it. So I went from drinking mochas because I liked them to just lattes. So just milk and coffee until I just got into black coffee. I kind of like stair-stepped my weight. Now I love black coffee. So, um, and it's like virtually no calories and I don't put anything in it. So I drink a lot of that. I drink a lot of water. And that's pretty much satisfies me. Um, I know like my husband, um, he needs like fizzy stuff and he doesn't necessarily want to, you know, just drink Coke and Pepsi all day. So he gets like the seltzer water and just puts like squeezes limes and stuff in it. And he does that all the time. And I like that too, actually. I just don't drink a ton of it because I'm, I'm cool with just boring water. So um, I guess benefits is that I'm, I, I'm into boring stuff. <laughs> uh, how long did it take to lose uh, 115 pounds? It um, has taken me total now for five and a half years. I lost um, the majority of the weight in about two and a half years. And... Um, then I like plateaued for a while. Last year, I gained a little bit of weight because I decided I wasn't going to weigh myself every day. I'm like, I'm not going to live under the constrictions of this scale. I hate you scale. And so I did that. And then I went up a little bit because I was making, I'm like, well, I worked out today. So like I can, I can give in a little bit and how my body works. Again, I'm very sensitive to carbs and it's just, and I was doing new workout routine and they were telling me I need to eat more carbs and it just didn't work for me. So weighing myself every day helps kind of gate that back. And then, um, I get, I lost more weight this year. So now I'm down 115. So again, it's like, it's not, 
you, know, you see those progress charts of those memes of like you think it's just going to go like this and instead it's like nah, 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 nah. there's ups and downs and it's frustrating and you're going to like you're going to lose a pound and then you're going to gain three pounds and then you're going to lose two pounds and then you're going to gain five pounds like it's always just bodies are weird man and especially as a woman i know some dudes like can just stop drinking soda and then just like bam oh i lost 20 pounds I'm like mm mhm <laughs> not this chick <laughs> so it's different for everybody and it it's it's i think there's just staying at it is that um is what makes a difference so uh all right veggies are done let's get this stuff all plated up grizzy get on out of here so this is going to be super hot so i try to cool it off a little bit because i use my hands so i'll take it off there just try to let it cool a little bit all right I, this cat sneezed. I thought you were making a noise at me. Okay, let's see how we can get this. Let me come get back over here. Oh, my new spatula. Alrighty. Okay. Yes, I will, Paula. I'll tell you um, my menu again here. You'll see it all. It'll be all plated up, and you'll see exactly how it's going to look. So. I'm going to cut this chicken up. Ah, oh, it's still hot. Well, I want it hot, but like not hot enough where it burns my hands. So, again, not precise, and I'll probably have to recut pieces to get to the, the um, ounces I want, because I personally do seven ounces of chicken. And for me, I try to hit 1,800 calories a day. Phone's dead, Jesse. Um... Let me hand that back over to you. So I should probably be paying attention if um, I mix and did two different seasonings on these, but whatever. It's a surprise. Make every day different, right? Um, so for lunches, I either do the, the turkey or the chicken, which I'll show you here in a second once I get this all cut up. Oh, I will tell you what, it's hot in here. It's not as hot as it was yesterday and I have all the windows open, but like having that oven on, it's a bummer. And I've had every, just go and just get, I don't have duct work in my house because it's so old. So it's like, it's not real easy to get air conditioning in here. It is quite expensive. I have looked into it. Um, maybe next year. <laughs> but... It's fine all summer until it's like weekends like this where it's so hot. And then today's a little bit better though. All right. I don't, I, somebody asked me the name of these little containers on, uh, oh, they're Fit Packer. That's what they are. I forgot the name for a second. Fit Packer on Amazon. And they have those separated ones or they have these. I like these a lot. Um, and this is what I use. So uh, let's do chicken first. So turn on my doodad and then I zero out the weight of the container so I'm going to do seven ounces which again doesn't sound like a lot but look, actually that was 7.1 which is cool with me like that is a whole chicken breast so that it feels like a lot when you're mowing it down and I'm again I'm not done putting everything on there I'm going to so I try to get it to seven ounces or at least as close as possible. If it's like 7.1 or like, okay, that's not going to make a difference. You know what I'm saying? So actually, there we go. That's seven ounces. This is going to look like a train wreck right now. I'll, I'll, I'll get it all figured out. I'll try to get things as organized as possible. Again, I'm, I'm not, not used to doing this like on camera. So it's, it's normally, it doesn't matter if I'm a total slob. Um, but then, till, and then just try to, I try to clean the kitchen up as I go because oh, I can be a lot of dishes, which is why I use a lot of foil for the fish. So I can just, you know, it's easier to clean that. Everything is basically, my life revolves around how can I get out of doing dishes? <laughs> that is a, a very large portion of my life at home is I'm sick of doing dishes. 
Uh, all right, this is 7.6. I'm going to let that fly because whatevs. All right, so oh, this is juicy. <laughs> Try to get this over here without spilling it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I'll do those dishes in a second. And again, my life is all about doing dishes. All right, so chicken's good for right now. And I'll kind of line everything all up. So we'll see how many days I get out of this. Again, I, I'm pretty, sometimes a very poor planning. Sometimes I make too much food. Um, and especially for this, I just kind of want to like, I get a good, like, you know, for the video and stuff of like thinking about it differently. And plus I went to the store, I went to Fresh Time right after Jason Aldean last night. And it was, yesterday was a long day. So I wasn't, I was just like, just throw it in the cart. Um, so again, I'm using my hands cause whatever, it's my food. Um, and I like just the plain turkey, but you can make the burgers and stuff too. Another thing I've made before that I really like is to just make the burgers, um, with the turkey and then use like a lettuce wrap. And then I put like honey mustard on it and onion and a tomato and kind of make like a turkey burger. Or I've mixed in with the turkey honey mustard and onions and stuff like that and seasonings and then made the patties and cooked them. And I like that a lot too. There's like a million options for everything. And I'm one of those people that like, I'll do something for a long time and then I'll forget about the other things I made. Another big thing I made for a long time was turkey and um, kale meatballs, which sounds disgusting, but it's not like, I just used this, this same ground turkey breast, got the frozen um, kale, let it thaw out and wring it out and threw it in there. And then I used honey mustard and like just salt and pepper and just kind of like turn them into um, meatballs and baked them. And that was actually pretty good. Um, I made those for, I used to make those like every day for a long time. Cause I'll just get in, I'll get into phases because it's, it's like my life is so chaotic and busy and we do so much stuff that it's like, I just, you know, and I don't even have kids. I can't even imagine how chaotic that is of just like, I already got this down to a pattern of just like, just let's just make it and, and get it done. All right, so now I'm going to do the fish. And I do fish for dinner because it's like lighter. It's lighter in calories. This is just cod. I just do, which is normally on sale. Like cod, I always do the farm, or not the farm, the, the wild cod. Um, and it's normally, and I'm picking apart pieces because I'm trying to get as close to seven ounces as possible. Of I normally do... For me, I'll buy like two pounds or two and a half pounds of cod, and that lasts me for the week. And again, sometimes you get in the danger zone. By the time you get down to the last ones, you're like, oh, this is, you'll know. You'll open up the container, and you'll be like, nope, nope. But that's the danger you run into of eating fish. So I don't always make fish. Sometimes just for dinners, I'll do like the turkey or... Um, Shrimp, I'll just get like a bag of shrimp and cook it in um, like lemon juice and garlic and salt and pepper or the flavor god lemon seasoning. And that's really, really good. Um, and then I'll just have shrimp instead of fish or chicken or just whatever. I just try to like, I try to make it so lunch and dinners are different every day. Like I don't want to be eating like chicken for lunch, then chicken for dinner and turkey for lunch and turkey for dinner because then... Even me, even though I'm tolerant to stuff getting, like, boring, that's too boring for me. Um, this one's eight ounces. I'm going to have a little bit of fish left. You know, I'm just going to split this up between other ones. Because, again, if I'm eating, like, 0.1 extra ounces of fish, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be all right. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, that's, I think that's a level of insanity um, being strict. So... All right, there's that. Uh, okay, now let's get some veggies up in this piece. I try to get everything. See, look, all that fish, well, I made, so it'll be four dinners of fish. So now I've got to try to figure everything out here because I'm done with these. So I'm definitely going to do fish for dinner because I, 
even though I don't really care that much about being a butthole at work and microwaving fish, I'll still, I'll, I'll, I'll eat it at home. <laughs> so there's four for that. And then I want to have tur like turkeys for lunch. So one, so one, two, I like everything the same way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So I'm good for six days. I told you guys five days is best. Six days pushes it. So I'm pushing it a little bit because I'm living on the edge. <laughs> Obviously. You know how people live on the edge with quinoa and baked chicken um, or grilled chicken. So, hey, Nilla. My cats are like, why are you talking to yourself instead of us this time? Normally, you just sit here and chat with us the, the entire time you do this, which I do. I'm like, no, how's your day going? What are you thinking? What's up, Grizzy? What's life like with one eye? I don't know what life's like, life's like with one eye. I don't want to know, but my cat knows. So um, I'll measure out a cup of broccoli, mostly just because I try to, like, keep... I want to s spread it out as evenly as possible, not because I feel like if I eat more than... Oh, my God, if I eat two cups of broccoli, I'm just going to gain weight. That was stupid. So... Um, I usually do broccolis with lunches and asparagus with dinner. I don't know why. It's just what I do. Especially like the asparagus is good with the fish for some reason. I like that better. Um, although the asparagus makes bathroom visits. More. Hey, no! <laughs> nice try. <laughs> The dangers of having pets. They want to eat your food. Especially Grizzy, the one-eyed one. He really wants the chicken. Like, he, he wants chicken like nobody's business. That's why he's, well, he's not, he's laying in the hallway now. But he'll hover. Like, every time I cook chicken at home, he's like, oh, yeah, you're going to give me some of that. I'm like, nice try, bud. Nope. All right. I think I'm going to have enough. I don't measure out the asparagus just because that's a total pain in the butt. I don't know what to deal with. So I just try to get it as evenly as possible. And this always burns my fingers every time. Every time. I don't learn my lesson. It's too dang hot. <sighs> Milk was a bad choice. So. Ah, it's so hot. Hopefully this all evens out correctly. And I didn't, I'm not going to shortchange one of them. If it does, and that happens where I don't have enough vegetables for one, I'll just, I like the, actually the microwave, um, or the steamed asparagus. And I like the, like, a personal preference again, more than I like the steamed broccoli in the bag or whatever. So I'll just go buy a bag of the steamed asparagus and I'll just have that with one of the meals. Um, which I, I made it, kind of. I don't have as much as I'd like in all these. So I might have to supplement with a frozen bag. Just because, again, I'm a volume eater. I want lots of food in my face. One more step. We're going to put the uh, quinoas on lunch. And then guess what? We're done. We done, yo. So I just pile all this stuff together. I don't make it really. I mean, that's. I guess it's good if you have the separator doodads like the things. If you can put each one in their little container. But I like life a little sloppy. So... This is how I do this. Um, I'm sorry I'm not answering questions right now because the phone that we had to answer questions with died. <laughs> so um, I'll go over with everything again here real quick before, um, after I get these all together and hopefully it looks all pretty in the, in the overhead shot. Does it, Jesse? Can you see everything? Rad. Um, so I just personally choose uh, quinoa. Um, because it has more protein in it, and I just, I don't know, like, I, I was told by a nutritionist and by a trainer at the gym that I eat too much protein. I have, like, 220 grams a day, but it makes me feel full longer, and I feel like I have more success with that than whenever I try to tone it back. So, again, it's just, you do you. You, like, it's, everything is all experimenting. Like, it's trying, you're not, it's trying things up and mixing things up every week. I'll plateau all the time, and it's extremely frustrating. And um, so I will 
God. Make, I'll try to change it up. Like, I'll do, like, a week or two where I do four ounces of, of meat instead just to try to, like, trick your body. Because you get used to stuff so easy, and then it just locks up on you, and it's just dumb. So I have a little bit extra. I don't like throwing food away. I don't like throwing leftovers away or any of that stuff. So I just, like, try to use it all. So I just, I don't know. It's just like you throw food away. It just feels like you're throwing money away. And it just makes me crazy. Um, so there's that. Oh, my God. I did everything perfectly. I love when it does that. Except I could have used a little bit more asparagus, but whatever. So let me get this all pretty in the middle. And we'll put leads on it. Um, all right. So this is lunches and dinners for me for the next six days, including today, because I perfectly ran out of food yesterday. So this row with quinoa is lunch. This row is dinner, and I'll eat the fish first. So I also stack it in my fridge in a way where I'll go in order. So uh, this is how it's going to look. Lunch and dinner today is going to be seven ounces of 99% fat-free turkey, one half cup of red quinoa, which, by the way, bulk section, bulk section is your friend, uh, and then asparagus. Dinner tonight, well, and also with this, I'll have, like, an apple or I'll have... Um, uh, just some sort of fruit. Sometimes I go crazy and add Melba toast to it because I'm living on the edge. And then a snack this afternoon will be a, either a cup of cottage cheese or I'll have yogurt or I'll have string cheese and I'll have um, some more veggies. And then dinner will be seven ounces of cod and asparagus. And then tomorrow, just because it's different, will be for lunch. It will be seven ounces of grilled chicken It'll be a half cup of quinoa, it'll be a cup of broccoli, and then dinner is seven ounces of cod and asparagus, and then I try to, like, mix them up each day so I can have, like, a turkey, it's not, so chicken, or turkey, chicken, chicken, turkey, tur chicken, turkey, and then I'll go through this cod at night just because it's fish, and let's not, let's not get the fish too much in the danger area. And then, so this will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So starting Thursday, my dinners will be chicken instead of fish. And then, so this will be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Some, I have to do this stuff out loud because I have to think about it. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'll have my last food on Friday. So next Friday night, I'll probably be meal prepping or Thursday. I will do this whole process again. And I might do different foods. I might do the exact same thing. It just feels, it just feels like if I'm like, don't feel like I have enough time and I feel stressed out, I'll just kind of go back to the same thing because I can know I can knock it out. Or I'll change it up and do different foods and, and, you know, different vegetables, which I try to do more stuff with different vegetables. I throw Brussels sprouts is the big one I throw in there that's different. Um, also, what's really cool is at any grocery store, if you go to, you know, Fresh Time or whatever, is that they have the stuff that's already pre-sliced and stuff, which it is more expensive. But, like, some of the things they have, like, the sliced up um, butternut squash or um, sweet potatoes, and then you could bake them and do different stuff with that. Like, if that's, for me, I don't want to take a whole sweet potato and dice it up. I don't have time for that. I don't have patience for that. So I will spend like the extra dollar or two to get the stuff that's already like made into little French fry cuts or whatever and bake that. And I'll have like that instead of the quinoa or I'll do brown rice instead of the quinoa. Um, again, this all sounds like probably not the most exciting foods. Pinterest is your best friend for like spicing things up and making things more interesting. So this is what I do. Um, and I will go back and I'll read the comments and I'll like anything I couldn't answer because I can't see them, I'll answer. And if you guys have any questions for me and the stuff that I do, again, I'm not a nutritionist. Um, I am not a fitness expert. This is just what I've learned that has worked for me to help me lose 115 pounds and maintain it. Um, that this, this, I mean, you can do so many different things with just prepping your meals ahead of time. This is just what I do. And so I'm going to 
package all these up and then I'll, re I'll arrange them in the order I have them arranged here in the fridge so that way every day I just go in and I have I usually do a stack of lunches stack of dinners and I grab one take it to work for lunches and then when I come home I pull and just micro I microwave them all for two minutes um, and then I put mustard on them or if I put additional seasonings or whatever and like it's just I seriously it, it took me what a, an hour or whatever probably a little bit longer today because I've been talking and uh, distracted but like to do this all, to literally, for each meal, just have to spend two minutes on it, it's freaking awesome. Because having to worry about cooking stuff every day sucks. And then, um, you know, if you want to, you know, you obviously double up or whatever if somebody, like my husband doesn't want to eat this way, so I don't have to worry about him. I just do my own thing. But I'm sure you can do that too. I mean, there's also people, meal prep services where you can order this stuff and like they'll, I mean, I don't think it's cheap, but you got to make a choice too of like what's important to you, what your goals are. Like sometimes, you know, buying a bunch of fish and stuff isn't is as cheap as buying a party pizza, but you're going to have a lot more benefits out of it. So it's kind of like you got to choose what you want. So, but there's you know, meal prep services too that will I've never done one personally, but I know they exist and it's a good idea. So you don't have to worry about trashing your kitchen and doing all this, but it's cheaper. And once you get a rhythm going and you figure out what you're doing, like you can just, you just snap through it and then it's over for the week. So I don't have to worry about this until Friday, which is awesome. My food is done except for like breakfasts and stuff like that, which I can kind of work around. So that is my meal prep Sunday. And thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, uh, let me know. There's, I'm also going to post this on my um, weight loss blog, which is Wait a Minute, on uh, B105.com, um, which I'll probably link this video on there, too. So, um, all right, guys. I guess I'm going to go, like, eat my super exciting food now. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching. Bye.